It's time for Supercast Extras with a special report. Today we are discussing the Writers and Actors Strike 2023. And now for your host, the Super Foch and Steve Z. Welcome in folks, this is Steve Z, the man who put the Z in Supercast. And here I am with uh, Super Foch, the man who put the Super in Supercast. Hey guys, how's it going? And we are joined with you guys on a very special occasion because... We are. We are in the midst of history right now. It is. <laughs> yes. It's getting kind of intense. Uh, it is. If you're living under a rock, or <laughs> if you just haven't paid attention, uh, the both the actors and the writers are now on strike, yeah. and there seems to be no end in sight. So um, we're going to talk about the short term, what's going to happen, sort of how this fits in like the whole scheme of things, and sort of our thoughts. It, I want to try to keep it as. Yep. less ranty as possible just because right. that's not what I really want to tune into. I really want to inform you guys yeah, out there exactly. of our opinions on it, but also just about the situation so you can form your own opinion. Yep. Um, so that's kind of what we got going here on this little special edition of Extras. Do you have anything to tell everybody before we get going? Well, let's just kind of catch everybody up on maybe that's not up on why they're striking, who's striking, and, and what they're striking about just to kind of catch everybody up for us. Yeah, so the writers went on strike back mm-hmm. in May. Right. And the writers, they're script writers for television and film. It's typically what you were thinking about. And uh, most of us, when we think of writers, we think of the final screenplay scre- uh, credit or the story credit or whatever. Um, but as you know, things are always more complicated. And that's what we're dealing with here is um, the writers, they feel like, that they are getting a short end, which they probably have always been the group that's been abused. I mean, we've right. talked about it on some of our episodes. Yeah. People will spend three or four times writing a script before they actually get paid on it. Yep. Um, sometimes they'll supplement stuff to a script and not get anything for it. Mm. Um, so that's the reality of being a, a screenplay writer or just a writer in Hollywood. Yeah. And they're striking because of streaming. That's mm. the big thing. There's a mm. lot of other things. Streaming's the <laughs> the root of it all. Um, so streaming, as you know, it has cut down on the episode counts for a lot of these seasons, and that's something you want to think about. It's like old television; we had twenty four episode seasons. Now we're seeing about eight to ten. So that means less money for every writer out there, less episodes for writers to work on, and so that's a big aspect of it. Because a lot of times those writers are counting on that constant income from those residuals. And now that we have streaming, that's been cut a lot. So that's one thing. And so what do you, what do you think about that? You know, I can understand it. Um, and I think when this started, I think that's the thing you do think about because, you know, these are the unsung heroes. These are the people that do a lot of the edits and do a lot of the things. And, um, sometimes the writers don't get credit at all, you know? So it's, it's, it's very understandable when the writers are like, okay, yeah, we, we, we need a little bit more of say, you know, we need a little bit more of the, the money or or whatever. And so I can definitely understand that. And so when that came out, um, it was like, yeah. And, and you mentioned the streaming thing and that's kind of changed the game completely with, you know, even Mm -hmm. with movies and I'm sure you'll get into it with, uh, movies and, and, uh, stuff like that but like it's 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 a different ball game we're playing when it comes to media consumption and uh you know from streaming and 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 all that kind of thing so it's it's really understandable if people feel like they're not getting paid for work that they're obviously doing and you know i i saw somebody and i'm sure you'll get into it i saw somebody yesterday i think it was yesterday it was a movie star um, talk about it and was defending the actors going on strike. And I think that there is a say, and I'm sure you'll talk about that in a minute, but uh, it's, it's, you know, it's a different ball game that we, than when we were kids and stuff like that, where, you know, content is just so much more accessible yet. Sometimes the people that provide it don't get, the adequate, uh, you know, payback for it. So that's completely understandable in this case. And, um, 
Continue, my friend. Yeah, so that's where it starts off. And that right. happened way back in May. Like I said, the writers going on strike. And as yeah. we segue into what you were just bringing up, yeah, the mm-hmm. actors last week, just a few days ago, they went on strike too. And it ties back into, as we're still talking about streaming, yes, mm-hmm. they are losing out on revenue because of streaming too. Yeah. And that's yeah. really the big starting point of this. We'll get into AI in a second because that's a totally <laughs> different fold of this. Yeah. Um, right. But the actors come in on strike along with the screenwriters because of, and it's not just money. It's it's yeah. how these studios are kind of treating film mm. now. Um, as you mm. said, you use the word content because content's everything. It's how they view television, <laughs> film, yep. all of it. Miniseries, yep. whatever. They just see it as that. They just want eyes on their streaming services. Mm-hmm. And yeah, uh, COVID had a lot to do with this. That's what expedited <laughs> all of this. 2020, yeah. we started seeing films leave the theater or not even go to the theater at all and go straight to streaming. And, yeah. when and it, I know, man, you're... Yeah, I know you're a real big theater guy, and I know you're a big content guy and DVD. So, you know, when you see something like this, where do you start? Like, what what what's your biggest concern with all this, man? Um, what do you mean? As far as like, you know, where do you sit on the whole, you know, content thing? And I mean, and the strike itself. Like, like, what's your thoughts? Um, I'm getting into it. Um, to me, I'm I'm definitely okay. on the side right. of the actors, right. the writers, um, just I got because. Man, I apologize. I I think as I was getting yeah. into the studios are not treating these people with any respect whatsoever. Right. You look at the news any time, any day of the week. We're gonna have another story out about mm. how the studios have abused animators, yep. effects artists, mm-hmm. you name it. Yeah. Um, and it it goes to. A, Pretty much every extras um, topic we've talked about. We talked about mm-hmm. HBO Max yep. going away and becoming Max. When that yeah. happened, what did they do? They pull off cartoons <laughs> instantly. Yeah, and these were like shows that were in production. They were mm-hmm. they are they were either rele- made the season, and they were releasing the episodes one by one, mm. and they just stopped it. They were like, "Sorry, you can't watch these anymore." Wow. And what that happens is all those people that spend all that time on yep. that, they put their heart and soul into it. Yeah. Guess what? Nobody gets to see it anymore. They don't get paid. They get Doesn't paid matter. basically for the, for their salary, their day work. Mm. But as you guys know, probably contracts yep. stipulate that they get to share on the the residuals, as they call <laughs> them, the mm. revenue sharing yeah. as this film, this TV, whatever, gets more money over time. And back in the day, that was super easy to track. Yeah. Um, and that's why we've every time <laughs> we've seen these guys strike. Right. It's been because there has been this big change, mm-hmm. such as in 1980, it was over VHS. They were mm-hmm. like, we want to make sure we get some of that VHS market. We, yeah. the actors need some of that. The writers need some of that. Mm-hmm. Way back in the 1960, guess what it was? It was mm-hmm. television. How can we yeah. share on that television revenue? Right. So that's the big thing mm-hmm. is streaming and just the way that these businesses sure. look at their their content now, as they I use that word, mm-hmm. um, It's not valued, and that's the big thing. They just see dollar signs, I'm thinking. They don't see art. They don't see a quality product. Yeah. Go ahead. Say say some stuff. I've talked too long. No, I think you you said everything I would say. I mean, I feel like that uh, people that do all this work, and then it's like, oh, well, you know, forget that. You know, we're going in this direction. And it's – it is – and I don't know what the answer is. So I'm going to ask you, my friend, where do you see this ending up? I mean, is it just, I mean, what, where do you see this going as far as the strike, as far as, you know, um, this problem? Because it's obviously a problem. And you mentioned the TV thing. You mentioned how they resolve things in the past. And you say, well, you know, now there's technology and all this kind of stuff. But I don't know. I, I, I don't know where this ends up so i'm gonna ask you again <laughs> where, where do you see this uh going as far as where we're at now well i'll say presently it's not looking good yeah um, right because the writers they've been striking yep there's been no budge right. no nothing news come out about that right actors went on strike and yep. dude this was the most surreal thing i didn't see it live or anything but just hearing that this happened and then later seeing it 
that the actors walked out on the Oppenheimer premiere, this huge film that everybody's been looking forward to. Matt Damon, uh, Shelly Murphy, Margot Robbie, we're out of here. Sorry, we're going to stop promoting this movie. We're not going to promote it anymore. Their own film, they're just like, we're out of here. Um, and that kind of blew my mind, and then that made it this whole thing real. Right. So I would think at that moment, the studio execs, if I'm a studio exec, I'm pulling up my phone. Yeah. I'm calling these people up and like, hey, let's let's try yeah. to figure something out here. Right. But they don't. Yeah. In, in fact, if you've looked at any of some of the comments of some mm-hmm. of these guys, uh, Bob Iger, he's the most famous right now, mm-hmm. or infamous. He just <laughs> basically said, well, they picked a bad time to do this. Yeah. I mean, that is the way he looks at it. He He's just like, um, I don't, and I, we've heard some other execs say, hey, the way this is going to end is these guys are going to be losing their houses, losing their apartments, then they'll come to the table and negotiate with us. Goodness. So these guys are just playing yeah. with these people like they're not people. They're just like, we're just going to sit on our yep. big stacks of cash yep. and see what happens. Um, and that's where... I, Kind of getting back to what I think about it. I have the best case scenario, which this is not going to (laughs) happen, but I would love it if this was an ultimate reset on this whole thing that we got right now. Mm. If some of these companies just lost tons and tons of money Mm. and had to go away from, let's just pick like four (laughs) or five films a year. Let's put all our money in that. Let's just pour money into the 300 million into the flash, 300 million, the dial of destiny. Yeah. Um, let's see that money kind of sprinkled around and actually make good decisions with that yeah. money. And maybe we could have some awesome films, a lot of different studios all playing by the same rules, same game. It's not going to happen, but, yeah. but that would be so cool. If all these new upstart companies came around, they got the actors to work with them. Say yeah. we treat our people fair. We try to make quality films. If that happened, that would be my ideal, but that's probably not gonna happen. I agree with you. I think that'd be great. But again, I agree with you. It's probably not going to happen. And the thing that I worry about, and I'm sure you'll talk about and countless other people will, is what is the fallout going to be? You know, what is this going to hurt? Because it's ultimately going to hurt the consumers that want to watch this stuff, that want to consume and pay for this stuff. Is There's not going to be anything to consume or pay for and that's the big uh worry for everybody at this point especially the people that need that money so mm-hmm. it's 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 you know as far as we're concerned it's it's unforeseen uh territory here as far as that goes and i mean we're talking about a lot of money especially with the writers and the actors both striking at the same time so that's a lot of people out of work mm-hmm. that's a lot of people without you know getting paid and you know we're both family men we both have families and stuff like that and that just that's that's terrifying to think about you know not being able to know where your next paycheck's coming from yeah and that's a scary thought and that's what yeah. kind of i mean just <laughs> it really it disturbs me mm-hmm. that there is not more negotiating happening because yeah. this is people's lives this is their livelihoods exactly. And that's why they're striking is because they view that they are striking right now Mm. for basically the future of the industry. Yeah. And that's why I was bringing bringing up AI um, because Mm -hmm. that's the big change right now. Um, Because the AI, Mm -hmm. yes, we know chat GPT and all that stuff, all the (laughs) things you can do with that. Yeah. And and the screenwriters, the the writers, they know this. Mm. They realize, hey, what you guys are going to do is you guys are going to use this to create like 85, 90% of your script. And then you're just going to bring us in and touch it up and finish it up. Yeah. Exactly. And we're not going to get the same payment. We're not going to get the same yeah. um, creative license, any of that. And the Hollywood's actually like, yeah, sounds like a great idea. Yeah. Sounds good. <laughs> and the actors, meanwhile, same thing can happen to them. We see mm. it harmlessly right now with the technology they're using, just de-aging people or possibly bringing people back from the dead. Um, <laughs> in the case of, um, Grand Moff Tarkin, Peter Cushing. Uh, mm. So they've been doing stuff like that. Yeah. But they were talking about, let's imagine you're an extra, which a lot of people are. No. Um, take They take their, their this is their first foray into acting. They come mm-hmm. in as extras. And what they're going to do is they were going to scan your face 
And basically, the studio owns your likeness at Goodness that point. Goodness gracious. Can and you they imagine? can copy and paste you into any single film oh using AI. Gosh. They can put you into any film. And that's what we're talking about is basically the end of this industry. That's why the actors are hmm. up in arms about this because sure. they don't want their <laughs> like creative. They don't want their images in yep. jeopardy. This yep. is a crazy thing about this. So they're striking because they want to address these problems before like five years down the line, this is going to be a huge deal. Hmm. Um, right now it's just a minor deal because the technology's it's still in its infant phase stages, yeah. but it's kind of accelerating quickly. Yeah. So do you feel like this is going to be, you know, just something that gets tossed back and forth for a while? I mean, what, what how do you, how do you see this? Uh, I mean, because the thing is a lot of people that are, outside the industry is probably thinking, well, they're just quabbling over money. And yes, they are. They're quabbling over money. That's an important thing. But like, how far do you see this going, man? Like, what what, what do you think happens? I don't know. Like I said, it's <laughs> going to be prolonged. It's, yeah. Um, I probably what's eventually going to happen mm -hmm. is some of these studios are going to start to cave when mm -hmm. they start seeing their stocks plummet. Yeah. Uh, that's going to be the big thing. Yeah. Um, because... As you were getting into earlier, things are going to be delayed. They already are being delayed. Um, I don't, that Deadpool 3, they were showing stuff from it this week. And guess mm. what? The next day, it shut down. Mm. Um, I saw that this new season of Euphoria, which I don't watch, but it's supposed mm -hmm. to be coming out next year. Yep. Now it's 2026. Wow. Um, all the stuff got delayed. I think it was... Here's something personally for you. The Superman James Gunn film. Um, uh, he can't I'm even cool write on it now. I'm he can't right write on it right now. He he can't work on it because okay. he's a he's a writer. Uh, yeah. So all that stuff has been in limbo. They've they've just paused it. So yeah. all that stuff's delayed. So that's gonna get these guys. Their hands are gonna be start sweating because you can only show yeah. like game shows for so long. There's right. only so much you can just show like non scripted television. So these guys are going to have to cave eventually. Yeah. I'm just hoping that the writers and the actors can get a majority of what they want. Yeah. I mean, and that's the ultimate thing is that everybody gets something, you know, because that's what you want to do in a deal. You don't want somebody getting everything and everybody else just kind of like, you know, scraping the bottom of the barrel or whatever. So, you know, you're hoping for that, for the best for that. And definitely for the, uh, for the people that are, you know, just providing for their families like we are. It's such a critical moment in the life of the industry, not just for actors, but for everybody else in all the waves of, of the industry that this will affect. So it's a crucial moment. I know people are doing their best. I hope it's resolved as soon as possible. If it's going to work at all, we have to be, you know, part of it. And uh, and it's, I think, a very important um, time in, uh, in these negotiations for both the writers and the actors to kind of set the ground rules for the future because, you know, so much is changing so quickly yeah and that's kind of what the big thing is think about um anybody that's like yeah. oh they're just striking because they want more money yeah exactly um, anybody that says that yeah, they they're... don't think about the average actor or the average yeah. writer exactly um, they are operating mm -hmm. on minimum wage pay pretty much yep. and that's kind of yep. what you want to think about yeah there's mm -hmm. millionaires that could just be fine um but right. you gotta realize those are few and far between Right, and and that's the thing, and and I'm not thinking about those millionaires. Obviously, those millionaires are probably fine, and they're not worrying about it at all. They're probably sad for friends or upset for people, you know, that kind of thing. But financially, they're probably okay. Um, but it's these guys that sweat, that bleed, that you know, are in the trenches day in and day out, writing these shows and movies and things, and you know, they're not working. They can't do a thing. And, you know, you mentioned the Superman movie. I'm not excited about the Superman movie. I'm just going to go ahead and say that. So oh. um, <laughs> I'll, I'll get into that later once this is over with. But right now, yeah, I'm, I'm cool uh, with that. <laughs> but, um, but, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see because you mentioned all these things through history with television, with movies, with, uh, you know, owning movies at home i mean that we, we we sit there and think about that now and we're like oh that's crazy but that was a big deal you know when that started happening and that's only been what mm -hmm. 50 60 years now that that's been going on maybe less 
So uh, this is a really big time. And I think something that we wanted to touch on, we are in no way, you know, uh, uh, you know, superstar or anything like that and, and, and have any say on anything. We just wanted to give our support to those that are in the trenches right now because I know what it's like to be uh, without a job. I know what it's like to lose a job, unfortunately, uh, with, without, you know, your your say so basically it sucks <laughs> so um my heart my head my my love for everybody uh definitely for that and uh for everyone that's saying all this just these millionaires that's not getting me hush let's you know educate yourself you know it's it's the truth is out there and it's just it's a scary thing for a lot of people that don't deserve it. And that's why we wanted to come on here for just a bit and give our support. Because, hey, we love movies, but we don't want to put people out of work that shouldn't be at, you know, out of work. That's 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 not cool. We, we're, we're not in support of that no matter what movie's coming out, right? Yeah, we just wanted to continue, wanted to um, them to keep making quality products. And hopefully that's what we get out of this. Hopefully these... People like uh, that are running these companies realize, you know what? Maybe if we actually made good content and cared about our people, we'd probably make more money and um, we'd make better stuff that would actually live on. Um, so hopefully they they change their ways. And yeah, we know yeah. that that pie in the sky. We know that that's 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 subjective, and you know what's good to you may not be good to me. I get that too, you know. But I think the point is we want people to get paid that deserve to get paid. That's, that's the main thing is that if you're doing a job to get paid, you deserve to get paid. And that's all that we care about. We just wanted to give our support to everybody that's um, struggling through this right now. And uh, if you do watch this and you do have any, any issue with this, we just, our hearts are, our uh, prayers and everything are with you guys and hopefully we get this resolved and we do get some good like you said we do get some qu uh, quality uh entertainment out of it maybe that's maybe that's all for the yep. best everybody gets taken care of the producers the consumers all of the above everybody wins thank you for joining us today on this special report from supercast extras stay tuned for future updates with these stories but also please check out future podcasts and other episodes on the channel. Have a great day.